It was a day not unlike today, but August 27, 1776, ended in total tragedy for the Americans. It began with a surprise attack. British forces had surrounded the inexperienced Continental Army that was fighting for independence under the command of General George Washington. The Americans were in a dire situation. They were cut off from the main force and attacked from all sides. Who was fighting who? British versus America. What happened? Um, the British won. <laughs> the British won, didn't they? And so the first major battle after the signing of the Declaration of Independence was lost. The Battle of Brooklyn took place on this very soil, Greenwood Cemetery, and the surrounding area. And every year, Brooklynites remember the tragic early days of the War for Independence through history lessons and reenactments. Despite the lost battle, two groups dedicated to preserving Irish history insist that there is still cause for celebration. The total destruction of the American patriots was prevented because of the bravery of about 400 troops from Maryland, mostly Irish. These men, now known as the Maryland 400, held off the British so that the rest of the army and General Washington could escape. They scattered the British, and this way Washington was able to cross the East River to Manhattan. Only a handful of the Maryland 400 survived. Every year, the Irish American Parade Committee and the Commodore Berry Club march through Greenwood Cemetery to the top of Battle Hill, remembering the fallen. There, they are joined by the Brooklyn Memorial Society and dedicated Brooklynites in a solemn ceremony. Britain had invested heavily in this battle, but through the bravery of the Maryland 400, they had lost their opportunity to destroy the American army. This scenario was going to play out over and over again until the, the British Empire was broke and had to give America its independence. The Irish American Parade Committee and the Commodore Berry Club have been remembering the Maryland 400 and the Battle of Brooklyn for decades. They say that a bigger tragedy than all the loss of life would be to forget their sacrifice. We admire the freedoms we have, we respect the freedoms, we love our veterans and those who go to war for us. We love our veterans. While the Maryland 400 perished, the cause that they fought for lives on. Freedom. Who won the war? American. So what does that mean? We got our independence. Are, are you happy to be free? Yeah. yeah. And 239 years later, there is one thing left to say to these brave men. Thank you. <laughs> Seven years after the Battle of Brooklyn, the war finally ended in victory for the Patriots. Thousands were lost so that today, this place would be known as the United States of America. Reporting for Kearns from Battle Hill, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.